Hello everyone, we have another video in this series for the Panasonic LX100 digital camera. Today I will cover how to use the Panasonic image app to control the camera with your smartphone or tablet. This works for both Apple and Android devices. However, for the purposes of this video, I do not have an Apple phone, so we will be using an Android device. However, the same principle applies when you're using an Apple device. So let's begin. Now, before we begin and switch on the Panasonic, I'm going to um, assume you don't already have the Panasonic image app downloaded on your mobile device. So we'll, uh, I'll demonstrate how you can do this. So I'm going to switch on my phone. I'm going to make sure I'm connected to the internet, I am, and I'm going to launch the Google Play Store. This is the process you will need to go through on an Android device. So I found my Play Store here. Searching, come on, get there faster. Okay, do another search, and here we go. I've not been given the option to install it because I already have the app installed on my device. So what I will do, I will ignore that for now and I'm just going to put my phone to go back to the main menu. Now I will pick up the Panasonic camera. We're going to switch it on. So I've switched on the Panasonic and there's two ways to enable Wi-Fi. You see this button here beside where it says Wi-Fi. I can hold this down for a few seconds and it will enable the Wi-Fi. However, I will assume we've not done this before. So I'm going to hit the menu button. I'm going to assume it wasn't already on that screen and it's somewhere else. So we're going to assume it was up here. What you need to do in order to load up the wireless connection is to go to down to this spanner icon without the C. So we're going to go down there. We're going to go to Wi-Fi. We're going to hit enter oh, the menu button. I'm going to select Wi-Fi function. I'm going to set up a new connection and what we want to do is remote shooting and viewing. So we're going to hit the menu button to select that. So now the Panasonic has given me a SSID which is the name of our wireless and a password for this wireless just like you will uh, connect a new device uh, to your home Wi-Fi network. So I'm just going to put the camera to one side for a moment. You can see that this uh, blue light has come on here to indicate that Wi-Fi is enabled. So I'm going to go back and pick up my mobile phone, unlock that and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect to this corresponding wireless which the Panasonic camera is sending out. And I can see it up here so I'm going to connect I've already entered the password um, because I've connected previously, so I'm just going to hit connect. There we go, it's connected. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on and load the Panasonic image app. You can see there's a message on the, f on the camera which says if you have not launched this smartphone application, please launch it. So I'll go and do that now. Now I have a shortcut for my app on my phone already. So I'm going to go and launch it now. So there's our Panasonic image app and we're just going to wait for it to connect. So th this uh, message has nothing to do with the image app, it's certain phones if they don't detect internet on a connection they'll just notify you. So I'm just going to click no to that. So we can see the, the camera is now connected and what we want to do is do a remote operation. There's a message which comes up which says it will extend the lens so be sure you don't have anything in front of the camera lens or there's nothing blocking the lens. So I'm going to go and confirm that, yes. And there we go. Our camera is now live. So I'm just going to pop this here. And now we're going to control our camera using the smartphone. So you can see you've got a live view here. You can select different focus points. So I've now selected there, here, there. This makes up for the lack of touchscreen on the actual camera. So we can also control things like zoom in and out. 
We have a manual focus if we wanted to. Or we can just, if we've got the touch function, so much more easier. Uh, we have access to a whole host of other um, settings. I'm just gonna quickly exit that and go to the quick menu. Now from the quick menu, you can select a whole host of uh, different settings to control your phone. Um, so some of the picture settings, um, you, you, you can go through these yourself. I just wanted to sort of demonstrate how you actually get this operating and working. Now th this is also a great feature if you're um, wanting to take uh, well a, a group selfie uh, more than a, a, a selfie well you might want to take a selfie of yourself if you're blogging and want to control the actual uh, camera with your smartphone you can you know have the uh, camera looking at you and then look at your smartphone screen to sort of check if, if, if it's um, in focus or not um, there is a hot shoe mount uh, available for the Panasonic LX100 um, so that you can mount a mobile phone on top of it and then you essentially have a fully art articulating touchscreen um, but we'll cover that in another another video um, some other settings that you can access on the Panasonic image app um, when you're finished with it and when you want to turn it off you can just exit the app there we go There we are, we've quit the app. Um, the other option is to transfer images to your phone. So say for example, we've, I'll just wait for it to connect. Come on. So say for example, the picture we just took, we wanted to pop that onto Instagram or Facebook or I'll share it any other way. I'm going to go and hit image transfer. It's going to show me a whole host of other images I've taken. And then I'm going to select, okay, yeah, that's a picture I want. And I'm going to hit this button down here, which will send it now to my device I've got here. And now I've got this picture on my device and I'll find that under the pictures and I can manipulate that, send that off. It still remains on the actual camera itself. So there you have it, that's the Panasonic LX100 uh, image app um, and how you go and connect it. When you want to uh, finish with, or turn off rather, the Wi-Fi, you can just hold this button down or we can just terminate the connection. Terminate the Wi-Fi, yes. There we have it. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.